in this video, we're going to turn this image texture into this 3D model with actual depth in the 3D model and with realistic glass that is reflective. Let's go. Okay, so now that we have opened Blender, let's also open the website textures.com. On this website, you can sign up for free and you can download tons of different types of images. So let's browse the library. We are going to make a building today out of an image texture. So let's first search for an image texture of a nice building. Let's go to buildings first. Let's press on 18th century European and let's search for a nice looking image. I like this image, so I will download the medium version for two credits free. Now that we have done that, let's go back and open up Blender again. In Blender, let's make sure that you have the import images as planes add-on turned on. This is basically a plugin for Blender, which comes pre-installed, but you have to turn it on first. So let's go to edit, preferences, add-ons, and search for images as planes. If it's not checked yet, make sure that you check it. Okay, so first let's delete this cube and let's import the image that we just downloaded. Go to add, image, images as planes and search for your image. Okay, now that we have imported it, you can see our image, but it's fairly small. So I will scale this image by pressing S and dragging my mouse like this. And to view the image, we will need to go into the material view up here. Now you can see our image with the building on it, but we can also see the sky and some other buildings. So let's fix this image. Let's go into edit mode and go into the front view by pressing the X. Here. Now let's press K to get the knife tool. You can zoom in and move exactly how you would in normal Blender. And let's cut the building out of the image. You can be as precise and as rough as you want. If you mess up like this, you can always press Ctrl Z and try again. To finish and go out of the knife tool, you press enter. Okay, now that we have done that, we want to delete all of the faces that aren't our building main face. So let's select for faces, press the move tool and click on the faces that we want to delete and press X faces. Okay, so now we have created a simple cutout of the building on the image. But the building is still very thin. So let's fix that. Go back into edit mode, press A to select everything and press E and extrude the building like this. Okay, so now our building is bigger, but as you can see, it is transparent and we don't want that. So go into the material properties scroll down and change alpha blend to alpha hashed like this okay but how can we improve this well let's make the glass of our building actually glass and reflective so let's do that click on the building and scroll up in the material properties and add a new material we will name it glass Okay, so now let's go back into edit mode and in the front view, press K for the knife tool and let's cut out all of the glass in the building. Okay, so now that we have done that, let's select all of the faces of the windows. So go into the face selection mode, shift select all of the faces, go back to the material properties, Click on the glass material and press assign. 
now you can see that the faces that we just selected have been assigned to the glass material. Okay, so now that we have selected all of the window faces and assigned them to the glass material, let's open up our shader editor. You can do this up here, but I'm going to create a new workspace like this. Let's change this to shader editor. Let's press N to close this and make sure that you have your glass material selected. This is the shader editor. This works on a node basis, like you can see right here. In the beginning, it might look a little bit frightening, but once you understand it, it can really help you to step up your game in Blender. So let's delete this principal BSDF by pressing X. Now you can see that the faces which have been assigned to the glass material have gone dark. So let's add a glass BSDF and drag the BSDF node to the surface node of the material output. Now you can see that we have given our windows a glass material and you can see that it's reflective. Okay, so now we have created a simple building out of an image texture and made its windows reflective. So how can you improve this? Let's click on our building again. Let's go to the material properties, go to edit mode, and with the glass material selected, press select. Now it has selected all of the faces which have been assigned to the glass material. Normally, the windows of a building aren't exactly on the surface. So now press E and let's drag them a little bit inwards. Like this. This already looks a lot better. Normally, you can also see these things right here. Normally, they extrude out of the building. So let's also make them do that. Let's go back into edit mode, into the front view. Let's press K again and let's cut them out, just like we did with our windows. Okay, so now that you have cut them out, you can select all of their faces like this, and you can extrude everything that you want to extrude by pressing E. Don't extrude it too much, just a little bit to give it to give it more depth. You can also do the same for the door. So let's cut it out and then extrude it by pressing E. Okay, let's end this simple tutorial right here. I hope that this helped you in some way or has given you at least a little bit of inspiration. So go use these techniques in your scenes and make some beautiful renders. Bye.